September 19, Nehemiah registers the people. At that time, the city was large and spacious, but the population was small and none of the houses had been rebuilt. So my God gave me the idea to call together all the nobles and leaders of the city, along with the ordinary citizens, for registration. I had found the genealogical record of those who had first returned to Judah. This is what was written there. Here is the list of the Jewish exiles of the provinces who returned from their captivity. King Nebuchadnezzar had deported them to Babylon, but now they returned to Jerusalem and the other towns in Judah where they originally lived. Their leaders were Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Sireah, Realeah, Naomani, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpar, Bigvai, Rehum, and Baana. This is the number of the men of Israel who returned from exile. The family of Perosh, 2,172. The family of Shephatiah, 372. The family of Era, 652. The family of Pehath Moab, descendants of Jeshua and Joab, 2,818. The family of Elam, 1,254. The family of Zatu, 845. The family of Zacchaei, 760. The family of Bani, 648. The family of Bibi, 628. The family of Asgad, 2322. The family of Adonikam, 667. The family of Bigvai, 2067. The family of Aden, 655. The family of Ater, descendants of Hezekiah, 98. The family of Hashum, 328. The family of Bezai, 324. The family of Jorah, 112. The family of Gibar, 95. The people of Bethlehem and Natopha, 188. The people of Anathoth, 128. The people of Beth Asmaveth, 42. The people of Kiriath Jerim, Kifra, and Beeroth, 743. The people of Ramah and Geba, 621. The people of Michmash, 122. The people of Bethel and Ai, 123. The people of Nebo, 52. The citizens of Elam, 1,254. The citizens of Haram, 320. The citizens of Jericho, 345. The citizens of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 721. The citizens of Sinea, 3,930. These are the priests who returned from exile. The family of Judea, through the line of Jeshua, 973. The family of Immer, 1,052. The family of Pashur, 1,247. The family of Haram, 1,017. These are the Levites who returned from exile. The families of Jeshua and Cadmiel, descendants of Hodaviah, 74. The singers of the family of Asaph, 148. The gatekeepers of the families of Shalem, Ater, Talman, Akub, Hetata, and Shobai, 138. The descendants of the following temple servants returned from exile. Ziha, Hasapha, Tabeoth, Kiros, Siaha, Paden, Lebana, Hagaba, Shalmai, Hanan, Giddel, Gehar, Rhea, Rezin, Nakoda, Gazim, Uza, Pasia, Bezai, Meunim, Nafusim, Bakbuk, Hakapha, Harher, Basleth, Mahida, Harsha, Barkos, Sisera, Tima, Neziah, and Hatapha. The descendants of these servants of King Solomon returned from exile. Sotai, Hasapherath, Peruda, Jaela, Darkon, Giddel, Shephatiah, Hattel, Pokereth Hazabaim, and Amai. In all the temple servants and the descendants of Solomon's servants numbered 392. Another group returned at this time from the towns of Telmila, Telharsha, Kirub, Aden, and Immer. However, they could not prove that they or their families were descendants of Israel. This group included the families of Deliah, Tobiah, and Nakoda, a total of 642 people. Three families of priests, Hobiah, Hekaz, and Barzillai, also returned. 
This Barzillai had married a woman who was a descendant of Barzillai of Gilead, and he had taken her family name. They searched for their names in the genealogical records, but they were not found, so they were disqualified from serving as priests. The governor told them not to eat the priest's share of food from the sacrifices until a priest could consult the Lord about the matter by using the Urim and Thummim, the sacred lots. So a total of 42,360 people returned to Judah, in addition to 7,337 servants and 245 singers, both men and women. They took with them 736 horses, 245 mules, 435 camels, and 6,720 donkeys. Some of the family leaders gave gifts for the work. The governor gave to the treasury 1,000 gold coins, 50 gold basins, and 530 robes for the priests. The other leaders gave to the treasury a total of 20,000 gold coins and some 2,750 pounds of silver for the work. The rest of the people gave 20,000 gold coins, about 2,500 pounds of silver, and 67 robes for the priests. So the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, the temple servants, and some of the common people settled near Jerusalem. The rest of the people returned to their own towns throughout Israel. Ezra Reads the Law In October, when the Israelites had settled in their towns, all the people assembled with a unified purpose at the square just inside the water gate. They asked Ezra the scribe to bring out the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had given for Israel to obey. So on October 8, Ezra the priest brought the book of the law before the assembly, which included the men and women and all the children old enough to understand. He faced the square just inside the water gate from early morning until noon and read aloud to everyone who could understand. All the people listened closely to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a high wooden platform that had been made for the occasion. To his right stood Mattathiah, Shema, Aniah, Uriah, Hilkiah, and Maaseah. To his left stood Pideah, Mishael, Melchijah, Hashem, Hashbadana, Zechariah, and Meshulam. Ezra stood on the platform in full view of all the people. When they saw him open the book, they all rose to their feet. Then Ezra praised the Lord, the great God, and all the people chanted, Amen, Amen, as they lifted their hands. Then they bowed down and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. The Levites, Jeshua, Benai, Sherebiah, Jamin, Akub, Shabbatai, Hodiah, Maaseah, Kelita, Azariah, Jazabad, Hanan, and Peleah, then instructed the people in the law while everyone remained in their places. They read from the book of the law of God and clearly explained the meaning of what was being read, helping the people understand each passage. Then Nehemiah the governor, Ezra the priest and scribe, and the Levites, who were interpreting for the people, said to them, Don't mourn or weep on such a day as this, for today is a sacred day before the Lord your God. For the people had all been weeping as they listened to the words of the law. And Nehemiah continued, Go and celebrate with a feast of rich foods and sweet drinks, and share gifts of food with people who have nothing prepared. This is a sacred day before our Lord. Don't be dejected and sad, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And the Levites, too, quieted the people, telling them, Hush, don't weep, for this is a sacred day. So the people went away to eat and drink at a festive meal, to share gifts of food and to celebrate with great joy because they had heard God's words and understood them.